I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Colin. In this video, we're going to have a look at Cryo War. So starting the year fresh 2023, we're going to see what this project is up to, the current price, and of course, the potential. I haven't looked at it for a while. I have the beta opening right here. I got the website right here. Not much has changed from what I can see from the website. Everything's still stable. Looked great at the beginning. Obviously, one of the things, uh, the reasons why I'm reviewing Cryo War again, it is probably the most requested update uh, that has been asked over the last couple of months. Now I'm fully back on YouTube in the new year. So I was like, let me pick it up straight away. So let's have a closer look. The Solana build is obviously one of my bigger concerns at the moment with this project. I'm still holding uh, quite a big bag of cryo war, although the price has been moving down steadily. You know, the all time high, quite unrealistic uh, after the release, which was uh, at the end of the crypto gaming bull run, $4. 60 over the last month, we've seen about 30% decline. Over the last three months, about 100% uh, decline from the previous point. Uh, over a year, obviously, we're uh, almost at that point where it was a dollar now all the way down to one cent, uh, which is obviously with these smaller cap gaming cryptos, not something unheard of in the recent market conditions. I would like to point uh, the following things out though. The volume is extremely low. So when we go to the markets, you can see Qcoin is the only centralized exchange that they have apart from Gate and Bybit, but the volumes are quite a lot lower there. So the main volume is definitely coming from Qcoin and then Gate where Bybit um, has almost, with Maxi, no added value. Radium as the DAX, uh, also quite low value, but Radium as itself has been having quite low value. The only pair that they have is CYUSDT, USDT, so a USDC option there would be nice, and then Cryowar Bitcoin. Only 31,000 daily trading volume in the last 24 hours, and that's up 16%, so usually it's quite a bit lower. When we look at the market cap, only 2 million, uh, which is, I think, reasonable for the current conditions of this project. Um, when we look at the fully diluted market cap, do take this into consideration, which means only one out of the six tokens. Uh, so what was that? Like at least more than 70% of the tokens uh, ish still have to be released, still have to come on the market, which obviously would dilute the price if there's not enough demand. So if there's more supply of tokens, not enough demand, the price movement will go down. Taking into consideration the current market conditions, obviously cryo war is up for quite a big challenge. I'm not really into the price predictions anymore because in the bear market it's not as much fun. The price would likely uh, move down a little bit more until you know, we see a fixed pattern on macroeconomic trends. However, the Solana project, uh, obviously this is the blockchain that it's built on, uh, will have a direct impact on the totality of this game. We've seen major Solana projects being bridged uh, to Polygon from, uh, you know, NFT collections to uh, recently also uh, opportunities being offered to games. In the last three months, you know, with the whole FTX FUD, we definitely saw a steady decline in Solana, which has been continuing uh, after it obviously reached a ridiculous point of about $260-ish on the all-time high, now all the way down to $13. Um, Solana always uh, looked like an interesting project definitely uh, close to closer at least being to fully diluted 5 billion valuation still so it's still a major player number 14 require wars number 4000 um, that obviously says something about the chain however the value and the amount of opportunities uh, are being reduced so that is to consider when we look at the open beta which is now closed which is also one of my questions why they closed it so early probably they had enough feedback it does look really good you know one thing to consider with these crypto games is that a lot of these games are being uh, built and and don't really have any gameplay yet you know building a good game takes time this is obviously an arena battler which is uh, i'm not sure how long it takes to develop such a game i mean it looks good looks playable but i also can imagine that for a closed 
world arena battler it doesn't take that much time to develop it's more into the gameplay building up that marketing that audience uh, to get things going one thing that i do like about choir war is that it's not heavy play to earn focused right it's a it's a mobile uh, game that is heavily focused on you know the skill based uh, arena fights as you can see here i'm just talking over the video because uh, there's only sound in this video but it is does give you a good understanding of what it is that you need to do you know dodge the enemies kill the enemies one by one and then get it going would i play this myself obviously not i don't play any of the games that i invest in i did get a key uh, as an investor to participate cryowar reached out to me if I, I would like to play it uh, I, I told them uh, thanks for the key but i'm not really interested in playing these games i'll just look at other people playing it uh, don't really need a look and feel for it. I'm already invested. I've already locked my tokens in the staking pool, uh, but it does look good. So I'm happy to see small improvements were made from the alpha. It does look a little bit smoother, uh, but other than that, you know, it's still uh, the same principle, which I liked. The game is simple. Uh, I can actually see somebody playing this for like two minutes on their phone. You don't have to spend hours on this, which I think for the adoption component of a mobile game is very important. Uh, some of these games that we see in crypto gaming require you to spend, you know, half an hour, hours, sometimes even days, you know, full blown MMORPGs. And that's definitely a different approach, which might also work really well. You know, there's some of these games that are really interesting. I liked Cry War from the start based on the simplicity and the artwork. So the game itself might not be uh, tremendously overwhelming in terms of you know the graphics or whatever but i do like the menu options uh, that they include making that a little bit more flashy so this is just uh, the overall look of the beta and when i say uh, the intro i mean this part where basically you select your characters it's clean it looks professional uh, that's what i like in terms of the website as i said not much has been updated still the same when we go to the Discord, um, there is still activity, although it's not that significant, right? About every uh, week, every two weeks uh, during the November, December period, there is an announcement. So it was released, the open beta on iOS and Android. Before then, you needed a key to be able to play the beta. Uh, it didn't run for that long, which surprised me. I assume they had quite a decent plan on what they wanted to obtain from this beta period, but I would have assumed it would last longer. One thing that I do like about this project overall is that they continuously show um, the, well, improvements. I would say gameplay, how other people play the game and your, your, the ease of use to understand actually what they're doing. You know, the language is quite straight. There's not that much FUD in the Discord. They've cut it up quite well. Uh, if you would go down here somewhere, there's a token chat, right? Uh, where there's information on the staking, the circulating uh, supply, etc., the general tokenomics, and there's a token discussion right here. This is what I was looking for, right? So here you will see uh, the general people talking about, you know, why is the price dumping? Uh, how, how does this work? Um, all these things. Overall, I mean, it's your your normal talk that you see in in any Discord these days. Uh, what I think is most important here is that, from my point of view in general. You know the investment that i made into this project as most tokens are down 90 99 percent of your investment as we can expect in the bear market there's no reason to get out of this i wouldn't even want to get out of it i'm happy with the uh, apr that they're offering on the tokens right which is uh, quite an important element here and i'm also interesting to see uh, the continuous development so one thing which is an interesting indicator is that they only had 210 views in the last two weeks that's not too great but this video is definitely also not really optimized to get views so if you search cryo war you know i know i'm in my own browser but i assume that i'm still um the number one ranked individual there um this is from nine months ago eight months ago there's not that many people um oh well here's solana gaming so this one is quite good two weeks ago uh, actually playing it and showing their opinion 11 months ago you know that that's a long time ago this is one of the shorts 
so there's not a lot of coverage however at the same time in a bear market do you really need that much coverage as long as you have a strong community and that's that's one of the things that i'm seeing in discord you know there's chats going on and everything but it's not really that active or focused on the game there's a lot of gifs there's a lot of memes what's up how's it going you know like your your standard and that's uh, unfortunate right if it would be a little bit more focused on the game the progression people playing maybe tournaments uh, they close the beta so that's not really an option I don't, i'm not sure if there's still actually people playing that had a key uh, to get into the closed beta before but i would say an ongoing flow of users experimenting giving feedback is probably one of the most important mechanics uh, for such a game in the current stage and market conditions um, i think overall getting the feedback from the users uh, for a game uh, is one of the most important elements and that would be in my opinion an ongoing process uh, until the game is released um, they do reply on everything so if you have a question in the discord uh, as I have had myself in the past uh, within, well, for me, it was a couple of hours because the guys were online, but I've seen mostly in like 12 hours, you get a reply from a team member, uh, which is always quite nice. They're not always as accurate, right? Uh, but at least you, you get an answer. So um, about 19,000 people in the Discord, most of them obviously uh, not actively participating on the game. Uh, but you can see Gen 5th, they post something, Gen 1st, Happy New Year, of course. And developing this game, it takes time, but it would be nice to see uh, what is going on, let's say in the next three to six months. I wouldn't uh, push any pressure on these type of games in the foreseeable future, right? Let Give them the time to make a proper game, uh, build up their user base. Uh, but the community management is definitely a thing they need to improve to ensure that they get the feedback required in order to, to build this game into the next level. But so far, for what I'm seeing from the game, the arena, it looks really nice, it looks really good, and I would be definitely be following it. Uh, you know, I'm not following it on a daily basis, maybe once a week, once every two weeks. I check out what's going on in the community. I check out what's going on um, with the project in general, in terms of the progression. But one of the most interesting things is obviously the choice for Solana, which now, I don't wanna say some of these games regret, uh, because you never know, Solana might make a huge comeback, but it is obviously uh, involved in a lot of FUD right now, and we have to see how that goes. So yes, I'm still holding on to my Cryo War bag. I'm still bullish on this project in the long term. As I said, I liked it from the start. I don't see any reason to dislike it right now. I don't really follow the price movement uh, because there's nothing much to look at. But I have high hopes for this when it comes to the simplicity, which was one of my foundational elements, uh, of course, uh, to get started with this project, to be interested in it. So I hope you have a little update on cryo war you can always check it out yourself as always do your own research let me know what you would like to know about cryo war in the comments down below and i'll be sure to have a look help you wherever i can thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one